this is, is this a big day for you here? This is a big day. It's an exciting day, and it's the, the start of a, a new relationship between uh, two great industries, the auto industry, uh, the energy utility industry, and we've got an opportunity to work together in ways that uh, uh, perhaps we'd only dreamed of previously. What are some of the things that you're excited to learn from getting this out? Not really to normal use customers, fleet use is different than what people would drive for commuting, but it is not with an engineer, uh, it is a customer who's just using the car in, in fairly standard way for them. What are, you, what are you excited to take away or to learn about from this, this the next year or two years? Well, we're going to be operating this vehicle uh, in standard engineering duty cycles and gathering data, comparing it to uh, conventional vehicles, our current hybrid vehicles, and also looking at uh, how the vehicle operates um, with, uh, with uh, the features that we've put into it. So what I'm hoping to learn is, have we engineered it right? Where can we improve it? And then we're also going to be driving it like customers would drive it. And as we do that, what we'd like to find out is, uh, what's their reaction to it? So uh, we will be putting, ultimately, these uh, vehicles in the hands of uh, uh, consumers, uh, people who can give us their feedback on what it's like to drive day in and day out. And that's always a, a great opportunity to get information, uh, to figure out uh, how best to design the next generation, and ultimately, the model that you would bring to, uh, to market. Mm -hmm. Now you're saying we will drive this thing. Um, what is, who, who's the we in this case? Because you're with Ford. Are you going to be out here helping SCE as they drive it? Or? Absolutely. Our teams are working together. Uh, we meet regularly. Uh, we test vehicles side by side. Uh, we go to dinner together in the evening and it's really turning out to be a uh, an outstanding technical collaboration between our, our organizations. So um, it's a joint effort and one that uh, we think we're going to get as much from uh, and uh, get quite a bit from. And uh, certainly uh, SC, I think, views it as a valuable relationship also. What are some of the things you've learned in the, the meetings that you've had so far where you're discussing you know, what, what situations they might be using the car in and what, what they're asking for you from what the car can do? Well, I mean, just to start off, we have different uh, languages and we're teaching each other you know, how we use certain terms and words and what they mean. Uh, that's been a learning experience. Understanding each other's uh, industries. How do you make money? How do you make profit? What drives your profit and your margins? Uh, what are the regulations that uh, one industry uh, is faced with versus another? What's the future look like and what are the pressures on each of those industries relative to uh, greenhouse gases, emissions, CO2? So we're learning an awful lot about each other in the process of working uh, together. And then we're also sharing information on how to improve uh, the product, uh, both uh, not only from the vehicle side, but from the meter side. Uh, we're sharing ideas, exploring, challenging each other. And in the process, I think uh, uh, the joint effort is going to be uh, uh, synergistic and uh, ultimately will uh, bring a, a valuable product uh, to the customer and one that really meets their needs. I think uh, one, that, one way that might be expressing itself already is that little screen inside where you can input how much gas is costing, how much electricity is costing, and it's very easy to understand. It looks like, I mean, I didn't see it in action at all, just that little demonstration there. Um, you know, shows, shows the customer, shows the driver what their car is costing them, how much they're saving by plugging it in versus filling up at the, at the pump. Um, how, did, how did something like that come about? Was that in the discussion? Was that an idea you had going in? No, actually, that was came out of our joint discussions with each other. We uh, were trying to, in, in the process of doing this project together, we're trying to also figure out how best to communicate and educate the public. And so we were uh, brainstorming, sharing ideas, and in the process thought, well, geez, you know, maybe there's a way to use these uh, 
center stack NAV screens to communicate some valuable information about how the plug-in is uh, benefiting the customer and how their driving habits are uh, influencing how much money they spend. And so uh, that, that screen, which is just a, a real neat uh, feature in the vehicle, that came out of the Ford SCE uh, joint collaboration discussions, getting the engineers together, the marketing people, and sharing ideas. And that's the power of, uh, and the synergy. Mm -hmm. of bringing these industries together. I think together we can uh, deliver, uh, as I said earlier, a product that really meets the needs of the customer uh, in their home and uh, provides economic benefits at the gas pump as well as at their uh, electric meters. So we and see what, some real opportunities. When, when do you imagine that opportunity would be a reality for people? Well, and at what cost? These have to be no compromise vehicles at the end of the day. We've got to be able to engineer these vehicles so that uh, it, the value uh, to the customer is worth uh, what uh, we're charging for the vehicle. Uh, so this can't be a compromised vehicle. Uh, it's got to be competitive with every other vehicle that's out in the showroom. And uh, in order to accomplish that, we've got a lot of uh, engineering to do, some fundamental physics to go address. And as we do that, uh, and as we continue to work on the economic models, the business models that are going to drive this utility industry, automotive industry collaboration, we're going to get to an optimized solution. I can't tell you if it's two years from now, three years from now, or five years from now, but uh, I, I see that coming sooner rather than later, that, uh, that point where we've reached the optimum solution where we feel we can deliver a competitive vehicle to the market and it can compete with every other uh, technology that's out there in the showrooms. And you're talking about a PHEV? A that's PHEV, the... a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Well, sooner the better as far as most of our readers are concerned, I'm I, sure. I know.